Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In this video, we'll talk about arrays. See, in the earlier video, we have talked about objects, right? And then uh, before that, we have also talked about primitive types and then we have also discussed that whatever data is not of type of primitive, it will be an object. Now, this can be the object which we created. Then we have functions which are objects and then we have arrays which are objects. But then when you have an object, why you need another concept like arrays? So if you look at the object, we have a key and a value, right? For example, when you talked about aliens or a laptop, it had a key and a value pair. Example for laptop, it can be CPU, which is your key. And then i9, i7, those are your values. Maybe you can go with another property, which is let's say RAM, which is your key. And then let's say 16 GB is the value. But in this case, let's say you want to have multiple values and you don't need to have a key. So let's say you have a lot of values and then you don't want to assign a key to it. Maybe you want to work with the index values. Can we do it? Now, if you are coming from other languages like C, C++, Java, most of the languages has this concept. But if you're new, don't worry. Whenever you have a collection of values which you don't want to assign a key to it, maybe you can use numbers to represent them. Uh, we can use a concept like arrays. How do we create an array here? So let's say I want to create an array of values. So what we can do is to create an array, we can say new array. This is one of the syntax which we can follow. Uh, so we can say let values equal to new array. And now you can guess this is a constructor function, right? Because we are using a new keyword. So basically we are trying to create an object. Okay, this is one way of creating an array. The other way is you can directly assign a value here itself. Maybe you can give a square bracket and you can assign the values. Okay, so this works in the same way uh, the other method works. So we'll go with that only. But again, you can replace that with the new array keyword here. So let's use the empty square bracket. This is another way of creating an array. Now this is your empty array. So what we have done earlier with the help of new array is same as this one. Both will give you an empty array. Okay. So when you say empty, it will not have any values, right? How do we check that? So it's very simple. You can just print the values to verify, right? So we can simply come back here and we can say values. And when you run this code, of course, it will not print any values because it's blank. So yes, it is printing. It's an array, but we don't have any values now. How do we assign a value? Of course, there are multiple ways of doing it. So what if you know the values already? So in that case, let's say the values are 5, 7, and 8. That's how you assign the values. So you can say 5, 7, 8. And you got an array with these three values. Of course, there is no compulsion that this should only have numbers. You can also have string. Uh, you can have other objects, you can have a function, your choice. Let's print this and you can see we got an array with three values. That sounds cool, right? Okay, uh, can we just print the length? So maybe I want to know the length of this array. So that's simple. You can simply come back here and say length. So values.length and it will print the length of the array. And the length is three. Okay, so you have three values in this array. Quite simple, right? So this is how you create an array. The same thing you can do with new array. It's just that new array will give you empty array and you can assign the values later. But how? How do we assign the values later? So let's say I want empty array here and I want to assign values. In that case, you can use certain functions. Maybe you can use a function like push or you can say methods because this thing actually belongs to an object, right? So I can say values dot, I can say a method which is push. Now what this push will do is whatever value you will assign here, let's say five, uh, this value five will be assigned in this array. Okay, so when you say push, it will add the element. Let's see if that works. Uh, let me just remove this length. I want to print the actual values and let's see what happens. Uh, so you can see we got only one value now, which is five. So initially it was an empty array, but then you said, hey, I want to add one value. It's doing that. What if you repeat this? What if you just copy this and add another value, let's say seven, and what will happen now? So it will have five and seven. And likewise, if you add some more values, it will add that as well. Okay, uh, so that's how you can push the values. But again, uh, we'll see this later. Let me just go with the predefined values here, which is five, seven, and eight. Okay, so when you print the values, it's quite simple, right? It will simply print all the values. But what if you want to fetch one particular value? Let's say I want to print the first value, the second value, third value. How do we do that? Now, we have seen this in objects, right? In object, what we do is if you want to fetch a particular value, you ask for a key, right? So you mentioned, hey, uh, we have this value. Uh, I want to fetch that with the help of a key. But in this case, we don't have a key, right? We all have values here. But then as I mentioned before, maybe you can fetch this with the help of numbers. 
something like index numbers. So this five will have a number, this seven will have some index number, eight will have some index number. Example, you know, when you create a table, you have a column, which is the first column, right? Which is serial numbers, right? Uh, example, the number of the line number here. So these are the index numbers you can imagine. Uh, but for this value five, what should be the index value? So what I will do is, uh, first of all, how do you mention index value? Uh, the same way, uh, you whenever you mention array, it always represents with the help of a square bracket. So you are saying, hey, I want to fetch values and I don't want to fetch all the values. I want to fetch the values with the index number. So I can say, hey, I want to fetch the first one. So I will say one and let's see what happens. So when you mention one and let's run this code. Oh, oh, we got seven. We wanted five, but we got seven. Now what went wrong here is uh, in computers, basically, whenever you talk about index values, it always starts with zero. So this five here, it should be zero. The index number is zero here. Okay, so we should start with zero. So when you say five is zero, then seven will be one and eight as it is at location two. Okay, let's run this and you can see we got five. Okay, uh, how about if I say one? Uh, it's quite simple now. You know it should be seven. We have done that before. And then when you say two, it will print eight. Let's try two as well. And let's run this code and you can see we got eight. But what will happen if I go for three? Because we have only three values. And when you say I want to fetch uh, the element at index number three, that means we are trying to fetch the fourth value. We don't have a fourth value here. What would happen? You will get undefined. So luckily you don't get errors. In fact, I'm not a big fan of undefined. I believe we should get error that there's no element outside three or maybe you can you should get Something like uh, in Java, uh, you get add index out of bound. But here we don't have that, you know, we, it's printing undefined. Uh, but that, you have to remember this, whenever you have the array, if you want to fetch a value, maybe you can uh, first check what's the length of the array and then you can fetch the value. Yeah, so that's how you can create an array and you, that's how you can fetch a particular value. How do we add elements with the help of index value? That we'll see in the next video. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.